Hello everyone, I'm here to do a figure review that a figure that I got today and that is the uh, Eofauna Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And I have to say, this is a really good figure. I love the coloring. I love the texture of it. The coloring looks very Gila Monster like it looks like. I also like how that it has like this black face. Like it's very menacing looking like like in a good way of course i also like how the eyes are pretty good and uh yeah now obviously eofauna um made their first um well tyrannosaurus rex figure and it's a pretty good figure um i also like how it comes with the tag and this is actually my very first eofauna figure little fun fact the only problem i have with this figure is that it says tyrannosaurus rex slash imperator i don't know why they put it in that name obviously you know last year that paper has already been debunked and it was fake anyway by um by greg paul in fact you know greg paul was the one who created the Tyrannosaurus, Regina, and Imperidator, but it's already been debunked. Anyways, yeah. So it's Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just ignore the fucking Imperidator and just call it Rex. Um, yeah. As, as also you can see, the mouth is pretty good. Oh, I like how it has a, a tongue. It also has teeth sticking out. Very nice. Except for with my version, like, it's... Teeth are not shut all the way, but it is what it is. You know, when you're doing, like, lipped theropods, you know, you have to be... You have to make them, like, really, really tight, but... Eofauna tried, but it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and I also like how it comes with the base. And, yeah. And as you can see, I'll, it's been implied that this... This Tyrannosaurus Rex figure is actually based on Sue, and I can see the reason why, because I don't know if it's just me, but Sue has more of a narrow-ish type snout, while other specimens like Scotty and, um, uh, what's its name, um, the popular, oh, Stan, um, like, they have more thick thick like tight muzzle muzzles i mean don't get me wrong sue's muzzle is like very thick but it's kind of narrowish at the same time um yeah and and even like when you use this replica of sue that also came with cameron it's way back there like the skull looks very identical you know the sue looks very identical to the figure yeah and I am going to uh, put the base on, just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I also like how it comes with the uh, two holes and the base with it. That comes with it. Here's the base. And here is this guy. And let's see if I, oop. Let's see. Hold on, fellow people. Of course, you can't shove this thing in because you don't want to fuck it up. Eh, it is what it is. It's just going to hold it like that. Eh, I guess it's the way how it is. But yeah. Like, I thought that you can, like, put this into here, but no, the, this base can stand it off, but... It is what it is. Yeah, it's a very cool figure. Now let's do the size review of both Rexes. We'll start out with the smallest, of course. 
we'll start out with the 96 Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Very tiny, of course. You know, obviously, you know, it's a very tiny figure. I'm gonna have to move this. Oh. Yep, pretty good. And let's start out with um, <clears throat> with another figure that used to be accurate for its time, and that is the Carnegie um, Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Obviously, like judging by the look, it looks like it's longer, unless if you count the tail being curved, but if the tail was like sticking up, like the tail would be at least equal in terms of height, this figure is a bit taller, but obviously Eofauna is more, much more thicker because of the body, and it's also a very stocky build because Tyrannosaurus Rex is a heavily built animal, which would make logical sense. And let's start out with Be Beasts of the Mesozoic figures. What's, let's start out with the OG one. Right about that. Make sure it's in the way. There we go. Height wise, uh, Beast of the Mesozoic's a little bit taller. Thick wise, um, they're a little bit equal, but I'm gonna have to say this guy is more thicker. I mean, judging by the look of it, but who knows? Yeah. Like, as for, like, my favorite figure overall, like, this is much better than this one. Like, this one, like, in terms of coloring, I can see this having, like, an accurate kind of coloring. While this is more like a fire-ish type, um, like a fire-ish, um, like, coloring, I guess you could say. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a very cool, um, figure. This guy. And of course the the Beast of the Mesozoic Walking with Dinosaurs version. Uh well of course it's gonna fall. Let's see if I can stay here. There we go. Yep, same thing tall it's a bit actually i don't know if it's just me but the walking with dinosaurs one is a bit smaller and it's also smaller than oh shit than the um than the original version i don't know if it's a bit off topic i know it's off topic but still like <sighs> fuck there we go. Well, I'm just gonna see how it is. Like, oh fuck! No, come on, stay, stay. God damn it! Eh. Oh well. Yeah, it's uh, it's about the same. It's very close. Yeah. And let's... And another figure, let's start out with, is Wilson. The PNSO figures. Of course, Wilson's just a bit shorter. Um, Eofauna is a bit thicker. In terms of tail length... Um... Uh, Wilson is about the... S actually... Well, it's, it's higher up. So it's about the same. I can tell. Actually... Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And then, of course, 
my favorite of PNSO is Cameron. And of course that in terms of bulk wise, Cameron's thicker than this one than uh Eofauna. Like it's a bit larger. I mean, height wise, like like uh Eofauna is a bit taller, but in terms of thick wise, they're both thick, but but man, like this is much thicker. You know? Like um Cameron's like much thicker. Even if I take off the base. There we go. Yeah. And then the final figures, the largest figures. Oh shit. Don't want that to happen. Is, well, the Rebor figures. Let's start out with Kiss. Obviously, Rebor figures are much, much larger. And even, like, in terms of bulk-wise, even though that some of my friends on Facebook complain about Rebor all the time, but whatever. Um, let's see here. You know, um, it's thicker. Um, the Kiss figure, Rebar figure is thicker. And then if we do with Tusk. You know, taller and thicker. Yeah. So that's pretty much it of my... Uh, on the Eofauna Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Overall, I do love this figure, and it's my very first Eofauna figure. I hope to get more Eofauna Tyrannosaurus Rex figures in the future, but we will have to see. Man, it's a very gorgeous figure, I have to say. You know? And yeah, for those who don't know, obviously, I'm kind of done arguing about lip versus lipless debate because it's very cringe. And obviously, as I said before, until we find a mummy, we will know the truth. And that's all I'm saying, really. No ifs, no buts, until we find a mummy. But, yeah. Overall, it's it's still a really cool figure. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you guys like this figure? Do you guys hate this figure? Um, and where would you rank it as? Like a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10? Personally, I just rank it as a... Um, a 9 out of 10. The only, as I said before, the only problem I have is that it says Tyrannosaurus Imperidator or Tyrannosaurus Rex slash Imperidator, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah. Catch you guys later.